three axis planes are set up using the right hand rule. Imagine holding out your hand with your thumb sticking up. The direction your index finger is pointing is the x axis and the direction your thumb is pointing is the z axis. The y axis is in the direction you can curl your fingers. A vector contains a magnitude and a direction and can be represented by their rectangular components. For example, vector f shown on screen can be written like so. In this case, the x component is 2, the y component is 4, and the z component is 3. Vectors can be added or subtracted by breaking down their components and taking the sum of each force acting in the same direction. Looking at vector f1 and f2, the sum in the x direction is 3 plus negative 3, the sum in the y direction is 3 plus negative 3, and the sum in the z direction is 1 plus 2. A vector can also be broken down if all the angles with respect to each axis is given. In this example, beta is the angle between the vector and the x-axis, gamma is the angle between the vector and the y-axis, and alpha is the angle between the vector and the z-axis. The component in each direction is the magnitude of the vector times the cosine with each respective angle. The x component is 10 root 2 cosine beta. The y component is 10 root 2 cosine gamma. And the z component is 10 root 2 cosine alpha. In this example, there is a force F of 50 kilonewtons acting in the direction of vector A. To break down the components of the force acting in each direction, you must find the unit vector of A. A unit vector is a vector acting in the same direction as the original vector, but has a magnitude of 1. The first step is to find the magnitude of vector A. The magnitude of any vector is obtained by summing the square of each component and taking its square root. Divide the original vector by the magnitude of that vector, and you will have the unit vector. To obtain the force F acting in each direction, multiply F by the unit vector of A. To find the moment about point O, you can take the cross product of vectors R and F, where F is the force vector and r is the position vector from point O to any point on the line of action of F. It's important to note that r cross F is not the same as F cross r. The direction of the moment is determined by the right hand rule. Imagine curling your fingers from vector r to vector F. The direction of your thumb indicates the sense of the moment. To find the moment about an axis, it's easiest to break the force down into its rectangular components. The moment about an axis is obtained by multiplying the force components that are perpendicular to the axis by the perpendicular distance between the force and the axis. The sign convention still follows the right hand rule. Align your thumb so that it's pointing along the line of action of the axis while also being able to curl your fingers in the direction of the force. If your thumb is pointing along the positive direction of the axis, the moment is positive. If your thumb is pointing along the negative direction of the axis, the moment is negative. In this example, the force F can be broken down into its three components. The moment about the X axis is equal to negative Fy times three meters plus fz times 5 meters. The moment about the y-axis is equal to negative fz times 4 meters. And the moment about the z-axis is equal to fy times 4 meters.